Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Please subscribe my channel if you do not want to miss a single lecture of this series. Today we will discuss about bright field microscopy. Now, if you haven't gone through the previous lectures of microscopy series, I would strongly recommend you to have a look on them to understand these lectures clearly. Links are provided in the description box. Uh, in our previous video, we discussed about light microscope and its types. Now let's start with bright field microscope. It is basically a compound light microscope. It produces a dark image on a bright background. So bright background and dark image. Hence the name is bright field. Now, how does this contrast form? That is, how the sample appears dark in its light background? We know that in the background area where sample is absent, light is transmitted without any hindrance. So, the background looks very bright like this. Now, a sample has its different parts. If you take an example of a cell, it has nucleus and different other organelles. Each of its part has different density. Because of these, when light is transmitted through the sample, it will be differentially transmitted, reflected, refracted or absorbed that will make them darker and will generate contrast. As nucleus is most dense part of a cell, it will be looked like darker. Staining is required to increase the contrast. Here you can see the image. We can find gram staining of bacteria here. The light path of a bright field microscope is extremely simple. No additional components are required beyond the normal light microscope setup. Therefore, the light path consists of first light source, diaphragm, condenser lens, specimen stage, objective lens, ocular lens same as a typical light microscope so the advantages of using bright field microscope is its simplicity of setup only basic equipment is required for the major limitation of using this microscope is that Samples that are naturally colorless and transparent cannot be seen well. These samples have to be stained before viewing. Example mammalian cells. Samples that do have their own color can be seen without preparation. So this is all about bright field microscopy. Thank you for watching my video. If you liked my lesson, please do like, comment and share my video. Thank you.